Is your SharePoint site dragging? Let's fix that. Here are three quick ways to speed up your pages. I'm Allison Gonzalez. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer here at Pragmatic Works. And in this video, I will show you three simple ways to optimize your SharePoint page performance using built-in tools. These fixes can dramatically reduce load time for your users. Start by diagnosing the problem. Microsoft provides a free Chrome extension called Page Diagnostics for SharePoint. This Chrome add-in is provided by Microsoft. It is super handy and definitely a necessity for any SharePoint admin or anyone that is managing SharePoint sites. Go ahead, install it into your Chrome and it will live here happily able to help you out on any SharePoint site that you need. All you need to do is open the page that is loading slowly, go up to your extensions, select the page diagnostics, go ahead, click on start and let it run on that page. It's gonna run a whole scan and you're gonna get a report in this pane showing what's dragging the page down from large banners, complex layouts, uncompressed images, really heavy web parts, and everything in between. This tool doesn't just flag performance, it gives actual tips and performance scores you can track over time. And you can share these diagnostics with your dev team or use them to prioritize site cleanup. Let's take a look at what we scored on this site. I can see the request duration, the latency, the page load time. And then here on my diagnostics test, I can see I don't have a CDN working on this page. And we'll talk about that. That's tip number three. So we'll get into that one. I can also see that I have web parts using iframes. Here I have one, I actually have two that are Power BI reports. So one thing you consider as you're seeing this, maybe spread out the load. If you have multiple heavy web parts using iframes, maybe consider not placing them on the same page. Spreading them out isn't a spread out that load time. So it's not as noticeable, right? You're only loading a page with one web part here, one web part over here. So unless it's really necessary that they be on that same page together, good idea to spread those out. Now I can also see a lot of green. I'd give myself a little pat on the back for that, where we can see all of the images are small. There's fewer than 25 requests on here. Our page weight is small. And even though I have those two web bars with those iframes, none of them are taking that long to actually run on here. Right? And these are really tiny reports that have run here. So it's not a huge load to do that, but something definitely to keep in mind with your suggestions that you are going to receive here. Next, our fix number two is based on what you know here, simplify, simplify, simplify. So if you have a site that has a really large, heavy, web part that you're seeing, like carousels, hero banners, even those Power BI reports we were just looking at, those can be pretty heavy. These visually rich components of our multiple images that we have of some of these really heavy web parts and lots and lots of elements, they load multiple images or scripts in the background, which can block rendering. And that reducing the number of visible web parts improves not just the speed, but also your mobile performance. So if your team insists on keeping them, consider adding collapsible sections or even breaking that content up across sub pages. So that way we're spreading out that load. They got to keep the elements. Well, maybe we can move where those elements are located. So that way we can really speed up our performance. The goal, of course, is to balance design with usability, especially for users on slower networks or accessing our SharePoint site on a mobile device. Let's talk fix number three, optimizing images and also enabling a CDN. Images are one of the biggest page speed killers. Compress them before uploading. You can use tools like TinyPNG to reduce that file size without losing quality. Then you can go back and replace that oversized version that's taken up all the speed and time and power with your really improved performance. One, that's gonna help that whole entire page. For even better global performance, SharePoint Online offers a built-in content delivery network or CDN that can be enabled for your organization. CDNs work by caching static files like images, style sheets, JavaScript on servers that, this is really cool, they're geographically closer to your end users. That means that someone accessing your internet in Europe doesn't have to wait for files stored in the US. 
Even though Microsoft manages the CDN behind the scenes, it is your job to make sure that the content is optimized and stored in those standard asset libraries. Clean asset management leads to smoother CDN delivery and reduces the burden on your origin server. The Office 365 CDN is actually composed of multiple CDNs that allow you to host those static assets in those multiple locations or origins and then serve them from global high-speed networks. Now, before you deploy the Office 365 CDN for your Office 365 tenant, you should consider a few following factors as part of your planning process. First off, you need to determine which static assets you want to host on the CDN and then also determine where you want to store your assets. In general, CDNs are most effective for hosting static assets or assets that don't change often. Think like your company logo, right? Hopefully you're not changing that all that often. Maybe a lot of images that you're like, we're going to have these images here. We're not going to be changing them probably as long as we can help it, right? All of those things that aren't those constant updates and tweaks. Now, while CDNs are included with your Office 365, they do need to be enabled. So if it is not enabled for your organization, we have conversations, decide if that's something you want to implement. And then you will need to use either PowerShell to get that working or that CLI for Microsoft 365. We need to be able to talk to that backend to be able to use that CDN to get that set up and working properly. To recap, diagnose your page with the Chrome tool, simplify your layout, and optimize your images, whether or not you are using a CDN. These fixes are easy, but they make a huge difference. And if you're managing an internet or a team site, keeping your pages fast is one of the best ways to boost adoption and reduce those support requests that come in. Think of page speed as part of your SharePoint governance strategy. It impacts how users feel about your site and whether they come back. A fast page encourages more engagement with the news, with the documents, with the apps. And from an admin perspective, fewer complaints about slowness it means you will spend less time troubleshooting and more time building value, more time actually getting them what they need on your SharePoint site. Try out one of these strategies. And if you are looking to learn more, check out our SharePoint playlist here on YouTube and dive in deeper on our on-demand platform with all of our SharePoint management classes. And of course, let me know in the comments if you have ever had a super long load in SharePoint page and what caused it and what did you do to fix it? I'll be lurking in the comments. I'm nosy, so tell me all your stories and I will see you in there.